my end of the year product project was more of an in was an innovation like Allison's, but it is to enhance the walking ability for patients affected by foot drop. And this was had more of a personal spin for me because two years ago my grandma was affected by a stroke and now she uses a motorized scooter to get around her house because of the foot drop. And I just, um, watching her and wanting her to walk more than use this scooter because patients that have strokes, it's really important, um, the rehabilitation and how much they get back after their stroke. Um, it pushed me to create an innovation for a better brace for the foot drop. My first thing is a video, and this is a video of my grandma walking with the current brace that she has now for foot drop. And if you guys just want to watch this video, it'll give you more of an idea of how she walks, and I'll talk about it after. In that video, you can kind of see how um, her left side was affected during the stroke, and so it's kind of dragging a little bit behind, whereas her right leg can walk like normal, so the left is just trying to catch up. And you can see where she was physically working hard to pull it off of the ground because her toes just can't um, do it itself. But right now, she is wearing a brace, and it helps a little bit, but from what I was watching, I wanted to make something that could hopefully help more. So, just to give some more um, background on the introduction, as I mentioned that my grandma had a stroke, and strokes occur whenever blood a blood clot forms in the brain, and that causes the flow of blood to be disturbed. And strokes can affect the patient's movement skills and motor skills, and depending on the patient, a stroke can affect them in many different ways. But the purpose of my project was just to improve the walk of stroke patients affected by foot drop and innovate a brace that more effectively corrects it. So what foot drop is, because I didn't explain it earlier, is a common effect after a stroke and it just makes the patient not be able to lift the front of their front portion of their foot as they should. It affects the muscles in the front of the foot that allow your ankles and toes to flex or what pulls it up. And this is just a result of nerves being damaged in the foot, and it can happen from several different things, but a stroke is one of the things it can occur from. And this nerve damage that occurs um, weakens the foot and causes the patient to not be able to walk as well and abnormally. They have a few current solutions already. Um, the picture up here is a brace that um, is current solution, and that's actually the one that my grandma wears now. It hooks around your ankle and then connects to your shoe with that little buckle. And the buckle is what is supposed to pull up um, their toes, but it wasn't working as well as I would um, hope or what I wanted to do in my innovation. Another current solution for foot drop right now is nerve stimulation, which they can do in some cases um, to help the nerve damage that was done from the stroke or whatever they got the foot drop from. Also, surgery can be used to treat foot drop, but this can only um, be used if the foot drop diagnosis was fairly new. So this is um, my innovation, a picture of it. And my innovation would be a shoe with Velcro instead of ties because stroke victims usually have problems with one side of their body or both, so their hands could sometimes also be affected and it could be hard to tie shoes, so the Velcro straps just make it a little bit easier. And then this also has the front part that wraps around their ankle, and then it also has the spring, which I don't know if you guys can see in the picture, but it connects from the top of the brace to the bottom of the shoe, and I was hoping in my innovation that the spring was able to pull their toes up a little bit better than the um, buckle that is used in most braces that they have today. And I also have elastic on top of the spring um, because I wanted something that would make the shoe look a little bit more normal rather than just a spring, but at the same time it wouldn't restrict the spring from doing its job because it is elastic and it can 
move as well. And this is a video after I created my prototype and I asked my grandma to try it on and walk with this as well. And what I see in this video compared to the first one is that my grandma isn't trying to pull her foot up as she was in the first one because the spring is doing it for her. So it's a less work for her, but the spring is um, doing its job of pulling her um, feet up. And so the next steps, if I was wanting to produce this as an actual shoe and prototype and sell it to other foot drop patients, would be to finalize the prototype because the one I have made right now is one from one of my grandma's old shoes in just a spring that I got at um, Lowe's. So I would want to finalize that and make it more professional and then talk to a physical therapist or stroke specialist about my idea and see what they thought about it and if there's any ideas to further that. And then get a patent, look for investors and find a retail market where I could find um, patients that could really use from this shoe. And I just wanted to thank you guys for coming out today and listening and everyone that's helped me in this project and Cox Health.